Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how you can customize the name of your chatbot. So if you don't like it saying stream elements, stay tuned and let's jump into it. As far as I know, there's only two ways that you can do this. Both require that you have a second Twitch account. So you have to make another Twitch account of the name of the bot you want it to be. So you need that to use it as the bot. So it does require you to have a second Twitch account. First one is by downloading stream elements obs.live. But OBS Live is just an OBS plugin, so you'll be able to use it right from your OBS. Okay, I'll be starting with OBS.Live plugin for Stream Elements. Okay, for this, if you don't already have the Stream Elements plugin, you can go over to StreamElements.com, click on your avatar, go to your dashboard, click on your avatar again, and download the OBS Live plugin. Now, you'll need to install this before you will be able to control your bot or you'll have to download the ground control. I'm going to leave all the links in the description below. After it's downloaded, install it and open it up. After it's downloaded and installed, and it'll just open up and look like your normal OBS. Now, all you have to do from here is to log in with your Twitch. This will just take a few steps. I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, after you log in with your Twitch, it should now prompt you with the get started with your connect the stream elements bot, activate tipping, and build a new alerts or overlays. It will also have other options to import from Nightbot and stream elements as well. We're just going to get started with this here and make sure our stream elements is connected, activated tipping. If you've already done this, uh, you'll have to wait till your activity fee comes up, so just bear with me for a moment and we'll just get right to it. Okay, it opened up a Twitch window right away. Okay, now that we did that, things look a little bit odd uh, because it updated your chat and it did a few things here. But now this is where you can do everything that you need. This here activity feed, this hamburger menu right here. All you have to do is click that once you have it installed. Go down to streamer settings and it will have your title, your game, your show viewer count, your hotkeys, and there it is, your custom bot name. So for this here, you'll have to go down here and you can it'll say current bot name and it should allow you to set a custom bot name you can set it as your like the main account whatever yours is so this is zn bot if it was zn solo it would be it gives you your own account it'll allow you to use it but if you set a custom bot you'll be able to then connect the custom bot account now this is going to bring you through an authentication it's going to need you to log in to that bot's account. So if you have another account, like let's say it's Frank, and just type it in and it's password, and it'll connect that bot for you. So I'll just be a second and I'll connect my account. Okay, when you're connecting the account, if you have two-factor authentication, you will need to do an, a request of an SMS so that you can type in your token here as well. Okay, it'll say all this here information once you do that, and you have to click the authorize. After that, you'll just need to click the save, and the next time your bot says something in chat, it will show as your user's name. At this here point, we'll want to send a test message just to make sure that everything is working correctly. So it again, it does say ZN Solo 101, reporting for duty, uh, custom bot name enabled. So there you go. Once you send your message, you'll know it's working for sure. So I guess that's everything there is to it. Um, if, I, if you think I left something out or forget anything at all, definitely leave it in the description. If you happen to know another way to be able to do this, definitely leave it down there as well. I'd love to update this video with a few more easier ways to access that information and have your custom bot names. I find it a very great feature and I super enjoy using it. Uh, that being said, if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching, guys.